guys welcome back to the channel anxiety art adventures Woo! <laughs> I am drinking my coffee I'm trying to wake up um, not sleeping well I don't know what's going on but I can't go to sleep before 5 a.m. and for some reason um, I get in bed I'm making myself go to bed when my husband goes to bed which is like around 1 1 30 um, and I get in bed, I play my, my candy crush soda because that's what helps me settle down um, and usually helps me fall asleep. But as of recently, I just, I can't go to sleep. I don't, I just don't understand what's happening. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, um, we're going to go over a few things. And so if I'm a little scatterbrained, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just... I'm physically exhausted. I'm just not mentally exhausted. So, um, the physical and mental aren't matching today. And, um, I'm also having a little bit of, um, some anxiety issues this week just because, um, I've had a lot of like uh, change happening, um, this week. So I'll, I'll tell you about all that too. So anyway, um, the first thing I want to show you is this canvas craftably. Uh, this is Astral Guardian. Um, you can't see all of it, but I've got stuff over here this way. I've finished, um, and over here I've finished. So I'm working on this section here. Um, having a really enjoyable time with this canvas. Um, there is some confetti, and the confetti is going to get worse as I get in here, but with my process of confetti, um, it, it doesn't bother me as much anymore. And of course, the, these are round drills, so um, yeah. Um, uh, so I really am enjoying this Craftably canvas. I really like Craftably. They're in my top three favorite companies to order from. Um, my favorite company being Diamond Art Club and then Craftably, and then Star Or. Those are my three favorites. And then Cotart is number four. Um, and the only reason I put Cotart as number four is because the last canvas that I had, um, I had a lot of trash drills. The drills were like very fragile and broke a lot. Um, but I'm hoping <clears throat> that was just a fluke of just that one kit. I do have another Cotart kit. Um, I have to do an unboxing of that. I have lots of unboxings to do. I just, I didn't feel like undoing all of this today to do unboxings. So, um, yeah. So we're just going to do a whip and chat. But I wanted you to kind of see the, the Guardian. I can try and come up a little bit so you can see more of it. But, I mean, it's really big. It's really big. Um, I forgot what size it is, to be honest with you. Um, oh, it says on here, it's, um, a 50 centimeter by 75 centimeter, and that's what it looks like, or what it will look like. Um, pretty awesome. And as you know, this is, um, going in Sean's apartment for, as a gift to him. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and show you, um, I'm oh, sorry, this is show you a couple of things that I got. How's everybody doing this lovely Thursday? Lovely, lovely Thursday. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, like I said, let me try to focus. Like I said, um, I'm just trying to, um, hold on, let me get to where I was, was, oh, okay. Having some issues. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to get to where I was. Um, I got a new attachment for my camera. Um, and it doesn't move as much as my other setup. And I've got a new A2 light pad, y'all. It is awesome. So great. Now where is it? There we go. Yeah. Look at that. We and then it could go even brighter. Whoa. One, two. I'm on two. So hopefully this doesn't bother you. Uh, oh, the first thing I want to show you is, look, my nails. This is um, Color Street. 
Yikes. <laughs> Color Street Moon River. It's like a blue-gray glitter. It is awesome. Um, I don't think I'm going to get dark colors, though, anymore because I noticed with the dark colors, um, it's going to chip easy. I'm going to see the chips easier just because I'm really hard on my on my nails. So, But I love this color. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So thanks to Kim, Color Street. All of her information is down below. She will happily send you a free sample. Um, so please check her out. Okay, so I was bad and got a couple more pens from Mr. Jim's handmade pen shop. I want to show those to you. Um, I saw them and just I had to get them and I really shouldn't have because I'm trying to watch my money y'all but you know how that goes. Okay so this one, no I'm going to save that one for last. Uh, this one I already have a glitter sparkle pen but I saw this one and I just had to get it. It's purple and like a greenish aqua and those are my two favorite colors in the whole world so that's a new pen isn't that pretty y'all pretty sparkly very nice love it um okay now this one um y'all aren't going to be able to see what's actually in this but there are little sea turtles um in the pen and it's just amazing. I love it. And um, I'm a huge fan of, oh, you can't see, sorry. I'm a huge fan of sea turtles. So when I saw this, I just, I had to get it. And it's aqua. They're aqua sea turtles. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show those to you. Um, my cover reminders are from Shine Shop Designs. I bought some things to help her out with her, um, trying to get her service dog for her daughter um so i have the, the no drama no drama had enough of that recently thank you um penguin pete the penguin yay and my trash can i love this trash can it is solid metal heavy it's great and i've been keeping um i've had uh, one, two, three, four trash drills so far on this whole section that I've done, um, which is very minimal. Um, yeah, so, so those are my, um, tra uh, trash, those are my cover minders I'm using today. Again, sorry, I'm all over the place today. I'm just, um, I'm very, you know, woo. <laughs> Me on no sleep for a week, you guys. I'm going to bed at like 6 a.m. and then getting up at 10 a.m. And it's, um, yeah. And I don't know why I'm not sleeping. I think I, I've got some kind of idea of why I'm not sleeping. But anyway, okay. So I showed you those, the pen. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to start trying to drill um, and chat while... While I drill. So anyway, again, I hope everybody's having a lovely, um, a lovely Thursday. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Um, tonight's going to be exciting. I've got Sean, my best friend, coming over. Uh, he's bringing us dinner from Panera. Woo! One of my favorite places. And, um, and then we're going to actually move my whole art room around because um, the way I have my art room set up right now, my desk is in the middle of the room and it's just not, I don't know, it's just not space friendly. So um, basically I'm going to take this desk, turn it around, put it up against the wall. I have two other desks. Um that I'm going to put one is going on the wall next to this one and then the other one is going to be like in an L shape on the side um, so that way I have more space in in the room and um, I'm gonna buy some storage bins from Sterilite I found some really cool heavy-duty ones um, so I'm gonna get those um, eventually uh, to help with storage so yeah uh, storage has become an issue with all of the crap that I am 
um, accumulating between all of my coloring books and my pencils and all my markers and then all of the accessories that go along with that like you know um, diamond painting stuff kits bags I mean just oh my gosh so so many things y'all know y'all y'all know that struggle I know you do so anyway okay so let me talk to you about um, so I went to my nephew's my youngest nephew's basketball game uh, last night Tuesday night um, and it was interesting because where he had his game was at my old high school and my old high school um, that I went to was a very small private high school. I graduated with 15 people. I'm not going to tell you what year because that will age me, but I'm in my 40s, so if that tells you anything. Um, anyway, graduated with 15 people. The school was um, somewhat new and only had like one main building. I'm sorry, two main buildings and then some like, honestly, they were like trailers over to the side as they, as the school started to grow, they had to expand into trailers until they got enough money. Well, they had a really huge donation after I graduated of like $10 million and the school y'all is just, it's gorgeous. I had not been back to the school. Um, since I graduated so last night was the first night I had been back and wow just wow it was it was great but the interesting part was aside from that um, I met my mom there and of course my sister was there and her husband and um, you know got a cheer on the, the nephews uh, but the interesting part was that I saw people that I went to school with you know because they they have kids and their kids go to that school. So that was actually, it was kind of cool. Like at first I was like, oh my God, people, you know, I don't, I don't like people. I'm not a people person generally in public. I just don't, I just don't like talking to people. I don't know. Especially, especially in that situation. Like you haven't seen people in like 20 plus years. What, what are you going to say? Hey, <laughs> how, how the last 20 years been for you, Shug? You know, um, but it was actually, it was actually kind of cool, um, just to be like, Hey, you know, how's it going? And just kind of catch up a little bit. So that was, that was nice. That was nice. Um, and then I, I stopped by Arby's on the way home and got, I was bad, bad, bad. I got a French dip sandwich. I was going to get a salad and I was like, man, I'll get a French dip because Adam couldn't go because the game started at six and he doesn't get home until like close to quarter of six or six. Um, so we just, you know, he just, he couldn't make it in time. So I, I just met my mom at the game and did my thing. Um, anyway, so I came home and, you know, ate my, my French dip and I've been watching the show. You guys, I, I started watching it. My sister told me to start watching it and you have to check it out and let me know in the comments below if anybody has seen this show. It's called Shits Creek. S-C-H-I-T-T-S -T -T Creek and it's on Netflix and it is it, to me it, it's got the same type of humor as Arrested Development um, it, it's that kind of show and it's only 30 minutes which is perfect because I can't sit still for extended periods of time and watch a TV show. I don't know what it is. It's just after like 30, 45 minutes, I'm like ants in the pants. I have to get up, you know what I'm saying? So 30 minutes is great. Um, that gives me time to, you know, sit with Adam, eat dinner, <coughs> excuse me, eat dinner, watch a show, you know, it's just, it's nice. So check that show out, but let me know if anybody's seen that show. I've only watched the first episode. Um, so it was, it was really funny, really funny. So let me know who's watched that. Um, and then after dinner, I um, um, came back into my art room and decided to work on this for a little bit and watch some YouTube. Now, I've been taking a break from YouTube. 
Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, maybe not, whatever, but um, I had a few, a few, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A few people that were um, not happy with me that I didn't participate in the DP-a-thon. Well, you know what? That was my decision, and I'm not going to get into the decision, but I just decided I wasn't going to participate in the DP-a-thon because, you know, primarily I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, other people that wanted to do it and, like, were smaller uh, channels and all of that, that they had that opportunity. So I even backed out of my slot um, on Sunday night, my normal Sunday night stream at 10 p.m. Eastern. I gave that up so that, you know, other people could take the slot. And in my opinion, and I really don't want any hate comments down below. Please, please don't. Please, just please don't. In my opinion, I thought that was, like, a nice thing to do. And I guess some people didn't feel that way and I actually got I got some hate from it and I don't really understand why that is I mean I guess I can kind of see one point of view on it but I don't know I just it it really upset me y'all um I've been kind of upset about it and maybe that's why I haven't been sleeping I don't know just because I try really hard to like not step on people's toes. And it's bad enough for me that, you know, I know Sunday nights diamond painting um, with Dave goes on at 9 p.m. Eastern and I go on at 10 p.m. Eastern. It's bad enough. I feel bad enough about that. But it's like there is no other night open, you guys. And I have to stream um, in the evenings. That's what works for me, not during the day. Um, and I've, I've gotten hate about that too, about the fact that, oh, you're, you're streaming when, when someone else is streaming. Well, you know what? There are a lot of streamers and I can't help that they're, I think it's great that there are all these new streamers and people, you know, doing all these things. I think it's awesome, but I don't think I should get, um, you know, shit on because I'm streaming when someone else is streaming. That happens a lot. And you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you choose who you want to watch. If you want to watch me, great. If you want to watch Dave, watch Dave. It doesn't bother me, you know? I want people to watch what they want to watch. And if you don't want to watch me, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. But just go watch someone else. Don't don't send me messages like, oh my God, you're streaming when, when Dave is streaming or you're, you know... What, what are you thinking? It's so rude. And I, I don't need that shit, y'all. I just, I don't need it. So going forward, I'm just not even going to respond to that nonsense. And I'm not going to let it upset me. I'm going to try not to let it upset me. Um, and, and honestly, that's why, I mean, I didn't do the DP-a-thon because I thought I was doing a nice thing by letting other people, you know, have that opportunity. And some people didn't feel that way, so, you know. Anyway, all right, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, just that, that I've been upset about that for, <laughs> like, over a week now. Um, okay, so anyway, so last night, I'm looking at my numbers here on YouTube, J739. So I came in here, and I just wanted to chill and work on um, this and watch some YouTube and I, you know, I haven't been in a lot of lives recently just cause I was upset and, um, you know, I, I'm at the point now I'm going to support the people that I want to support and that support me. And, and that's, that's how it is. That's how it's going to be. And I think, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, I'm going to support the people that I want to support and, um, if people don't like it, I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to be. Um, so anyway, so I came in here and, um, and I'm sorry, this is going to be like this. I feel like this is turning into a rant video, which I don't want it to be. And I might go back and delete this whole thing. Um, I came in here and I was watching some YouTube videos and I'm going to be really honest with you. I, I watch certain people just like anybody does. 
And last night I decided I was going to catch up on um, a couple of Mrs. Coffee's videos, a couple of Shaleen's videos, and um, Stitcherista. And I don't cross stitch at all. Okay. Don't cross stitch. But I like watching uh, Danielle with Stitcherista. I like watching, you know, her cross stitch and listen to her talk about cross stitch. Um, so I watch her, you know, I've been watching her. I'm fairly new to her channel, but, you know, I, I just, I want to support her. And I'm, I'm the type of person I always leave comments. I, I think comments are important. If you actually watch a video, I think you should comment if you like the video. Um, to each their own, but that's what I do. I try to comment on on all the videos that I watch. And uh, I try to comment on all of, you know, the comments that people leave on my videos. So, you know, I just, that's just, that's just me. So, anyway, so I watched the Teresha last night. And she's been mentioning, um... Um, I forgot, oh my gosh, I forgot his name, Aaron the Blind Stitcher. And I had not looked at any of his videos because, I mean, I'm not a cross stitcher and I was like, mm, you know, I've got so many, so many people I watch and, you know, what's the point of that, right? Well, I don't know. After watching her last video, um, I decided to go ahead and, and give, give Aaron a shot and y'all, I'm so glad I did. I I actually last night for the first time in a week, like, didn't think about all of the bullshit going on in my life. I was just enthralled with Aaron. And for those of you that haven't watched him, um, you should. You really should. Even if you don't cross stitch, you should. He is one of the most inspiring people I think I've ever watched and it will really by watching him and listening to him it will really put your life's problems in perspective and make you feel like your problems um I'm not saying they're not important because everybody's issues are important but it really puts things in perspective about what we um, <clears throat> complain about or what we, you know, how we think we have it so bad. Um, I just, I, I was, I was like, I, I literally, I was laughing and crying last night for over two hours watching him. It, it, it was, it was exactly what I needed to get me out of the funk that I have been in, in the last week. So, um, anyway, I will have Aaron's link down below. Um, I strongly urge you to go check him out. Um, any of you that follow Stitcherista, you know that she is a huge fan of his. And rightfully so. And now I understand why. So, um, I, I subscribe to his channel. And I'm going to show support. Even though I don't cross stitch. Doesn't matter. I, I like you know, him as a person. And that that's the thing I wanted to say is people watch channels because not only because they, for the content, but for the, the person and the streamer. And the way I look at it is I watch people for both the content and because I like that person and I like, you know, the character of that person and, you know, how, how that person, um, influences me and the community. So it's not just for the content, you guys, it's just not for me anyway. It's not, um, I've learned so much on YouTube. Oh no. Where did that go? Um, I've learned so much on YouTube just from watching people and, um, you know, watching videos and hold on, I need more wax. Yeah, so anyway, um, I'm going to have his link down below. Um, I watched his first, I've watched his first three videos. Um, the first two um, definitely, definitely pulled at the heartstrings a little bit. The third one, 
um, it, it, he opened up a little bit more and started telling jokes and just, it was really funny. It was really funny. Um, he's taken a really bad situation and basically he's just turned a pile of shit into like this beautiful bouquet of flowers. And I commend him for that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I did last night. And then I tried to go to bed and I couldn't. So I stayed up till 6am on my iPad. And the only reason I actually fell asleep at 6am, I think is because my iPad died. <laughs> um, yeah. So is anybody else like, has anybody else struggled with, um, going to sleep? And if so, please let me know what you've done. Um, that's not, um, you know, medication. Um, I've tried, let me tell you what I've tried. Um, I've tried sleepy time tea, both regular and heavy duty. I've tried melatonin. Um, melatonin had the opposite effect on me. It made me like really hyper. I don't, I don't understand that. I've tried Benadryl, same thing. Gave, gave me the opposite effect. Um, I usually drink a lot of coffee. So the last, uh, week I've made myself not drink coffee after like, uh, where'd that go? After like 9 PM or any caffeine after 9 PM, but it's specifically, you know, for the most part coffee. Um, yeah. And that hasn't helped. So, um, I don't know. I think, I think it's just a combination of stress and the fact that, um, uh, I'm going to have a lot of change happen tonight with this room and this room is like my sanctuary and it's going to get all moved around and I'm going to have, you know, Adam and Sean moving my stuff. And I just, I get really, cause you know, I have anxiety disorders. I get really anxious when people like move my stuff and I don't know what you're doing with it. Like, I know that sounds really materialistic. It's, it's not, it's, I just, I need to know where it is and what you're doing with it kind of thing. Um, especially with my art stuff, because my art stuff is very important to me. And it's like my one thing that really helps me, um, settle down. So, yeah. Um, and for those of you that don't know, you probably, a lot of you don't. And if you're new here, hi, <laughs> welcome to anxiety art adventures, hence the name. Um, yeah, so I was on medication, um, for anxiety up until about, gosh, how long has it been now? Probably about three years ago. Um, I, I would be on Xanax daily and, um, it just, it, long story short, it turned me into like, it turned me into a zombie to the point of where I didn't give a shit what you did. I didn't give a shit what you said. You could do whatever you wanted. I just, I don't, I didn't care. Whatever. It turned me into a person that was not me. Like I'm a very caring person. Um, yeah, you don't want to cross me cause I'm, I'm, um, I'll make you cry. Uh, I've done that before. Ask Sean, but, um, I'm, I'm a very giving person and I will give you the shirt off my back if I trust you. And, uh, it just made me into this person that I wasn't. So I stopped, it was really hard to stop taking it, but I did, um, with baby steps. Um, I weaned myself off of the Xanax and, um, I haven't taken any for, it's, it's been about three years now. Um, and honestly, if I get really anxious, uh, cause y'all know I stay at home a lot. I just, I come in here and I start, uh, coloring or I at least start going through my coloring books or as of the last couple of months, um, I start diamond painting, uh, diamond painting really settles me down. I think it's just the repetition of, of putting these little pieces of plastic on the paper and hearing that little stick sound as you put it down. <laughs> I don't know. There's something like really relaxing to me about it. Um, 
Yeah, so it's just, it's been, it's, it's been a week, y'all. It's been a week, but after watching um, some of Aaron's videos, oh my gosh, y'all, I totally just, I snapped out of it for the most part, just like, wow, this guy's amazing. I, I sat in bed and talked to Adam about it for like 10, 15 minutes, and normally I don't talk to him about YouTube stuff. I mean, it's not, it's not his thing, and you know. He's kind of like the whole deer in headlights, smile and nod when I talk about it. So it's kind of like him talking about his IT shit to me. It's like, you know, with his work, I, I could care less. You know, the only thing I care about is, I know this sounds horrible and I'm going to go to hell, but the only thing I care about is if I have a problem with my computer, you're going to fix it. <laughs> you know, um, I don't, I don't need to know the technical ins and outs of what you do because I don't understand it I mean it's it's like he's a programmer he does code you know I don't know anything about that and I don't honestly I don't want to know about that um and he doesn't really want to know about my stuff really I mean he supports me don't get me wrong he supports you know emotionally what I do he thinks it's great um he doesn't support me financially I support myself um, let me keep all our money separate. I've told you all that before. Um, but yeah, no, um, I, I actually sat there and talked to him about watching Aaron's videos and just how inspiring, you know? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, what else can we talk about? Oh yeah. So I'll talk to you about how we're going to set this room up um so yeah i told you how we're gonna move the desk and stuff and then i'm gonna set up a i got a second webcam i'm going to set up so when i do a live stream and maybe a video we'll we'll see um we'll see how much of a pain in the butt it would be for me to do that um to have the i'm calling it the the webcam the puppy cam, whatever, animal cam. I don't know how that's going to be as far as editing goes if I have two cameras, if I need to edit something on the animal cam versus, yeah, versus what I'm doing. So I'm not very technically savvy. Um, everything that I do, I've learned how to do myself for the most part. Um, like with the editing software, I use Filmora 9, which I really like. It's very user-friendly, especially for dum-dums like me. And, yeah, I've been able to learn how to do it. And, quite frankly, I think I did a pretty good job with my intros and editing on my, on my uh, videos. So, yeah, so that just adds another layer of, of editing stuff. So... We'll see, but we're going to give it a shot and see how it works. Um, at least have it for my lives on Sunday night, so that way you can see uh, Blue and um, Jabba. You're not going to see Bella because Bella's blind, and she she honestly, she comes in. Uh, as of very recently, we're having to actually carry her in and outside because, um, I mean, she can't see. And then we carry her in and we put her in her crate and she likes being in her crate because that's where she feels safe and she, she just, that's where she stays. Um, you know, I'll leave the door open for, and she, if I hear her come out, I know that means she has to go to the bathroom. Um, and she'll go outside during the day. Um, I'll take her outside. I'll pick her up and carry her down the stairs outside and she can hear Blue, so she pretty much follows Blue around outside. Um, so, yeah. And Blue is completely deaf. <laughs> so, it's it's quite interesting to watch the two of them interact. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty funny. But I love them dearly. My animals are my babies, and, um, yeah. So... Um, as of recently though, Blue, Blue's been concerning me. He, um, he's starting to <clears throat> limp on his left front leg 
And at first I thought he was just doing it for attention because he only did it inside and then when he would go outside, he'd run around like he normally would on all four legs and not limp. And I'm like, okay, you're just, you're trying to play mommy. Um, you know, you're trying to play me with the whole, you know, show me attention type thing. Um, but as of recently, now when he comes inside, he won't even put weight on it. He's just, he's like holding the leg up. Um, so I need to, uh, I need to go ahead and schedule an appointment to take him to the vet, probably get some x-rays. I mean, he's going to be 12, um, in May. So he might have like some arthritis or some joint issues. I don't know what's going on, but probably some, um, probably need to get him on some kind of medication would be my guess. So yeah, that and wow, what else has been going on? Um, speaking of the kitty, there she is. Hi, you can't come up here though because I've already picked enough hair out of this diamond painting. Picking hair out of a diamond painting, it, it is, man, talk about a struggle bus. Like every time I turn around, yeah. There's hair I gotta pick out. Your hair, kitty. But wouldn't trade it for the world. Love my babies. So how's the weather where y'all are? Mine is, um, it's okay. It's, I'm not gonna say it's cold. It is cold to me, but I know there are a lot of people that have it a lot colder than me. So um, we're, we're about in the, 40s, I think, and we get down to probably 28 at night, so uh, I actually had a frost, like, scrape your windshield warning this morning, so that was interesting. Um, yeah, but the weather's been kind of, like, up and down and crazy, and yeah, it's been, it's been a little whack, you know what I mean? A little whack. I don't know what Mother Nature's doing recently. I don't know if she's like on drugs or what's going on, but, um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So yeah, any, any suggestions of what some of you do for, um, to help? Oh, snap. That is one thing about this canvas. And I don't mind the fact that the drills slide around because it helps me move it where I need to move it, but they do slide around. And they'll firm up once once the glue sets a little bit more. So it doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, but let me know what you guys use um, to help you go to sleep. Something non, non-prescription. Oh, right. And the reason I, I wanted to say that is because um, when I was younger, I was addicted to sleeping pills. So I really don't want to get back on that, um, back on that bandwagon, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to do everything I can from an herbal standpoint, um, and see, see if I can just do it that way. Yeah. Um, I got some stuff coming up in February, you know, we're going to do, um, a contest in February. I'll have a giveaway. I need to do a video about that. Um, so I'll have all the details about that at some point. So yeah. Yeah. So is anybody doing anything fun this weekend? Anything out of the ordinary? Um... I'm wondering when we're going to do our taxes. I think Adam's waiting for his W-2 from his company. Um, and we'll see how much money we get back. We usually get back a good amount. Um, primarily, I, I, the house really helps, owning a house. Um, and then here in Virginia, we have to pay... Um, that didn't pick up very well. We have to pay 
uh, personal property taxes, which I know some states don't have to pay that. Uh, we have to pay that twice. What is happening right now? We have to pay that twice a year. Um, so we pay it in June and in December. Great time to have to pay that, yeah, right at Christmas. Um, so yeah, and then we get a tax break uh, on that, uh, on our taxes. So it's kind of like, you know, you pay the government and then they pay you back a little bit of it kind of thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, so anyway, hopefully we'll, we'll get to do taxes here soon. Um, and get that out of the way. Um, but other than that, um, we're going to have a pretty... Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry. The cat was driving me crazy. Um, it's like the littlest thing right now is like setting me off. So her sitting there licking herself um, incessantly is driving me crazy. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And then I think Saturday, yeah, Saturday we're going to his parents' house. We have to um, go celebrate his sister's birthday. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of going to his parents' house. Um, they're very religious. And I don't like that stuff pushed on me. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm a Christian. Um, I'm a Baptist. Haven't been to church in a long time, but I am a Baptist. But I don't, I don't like that stuff pushed on me. I think that's, that should be kept to yourself. Um, you know, that's just me. But anyway, so I get to go do that on Saturday. We, um... Yeah. Oh, I get to go get my hair done Friday. So for y'all, when you see this, that'll be tomorrow. That'll be good. Definitely need that. I've been pushing it out because I'm trying to grow my hair out um, a little bit longer. And yeah, it's been interesting. So instead of me going every five weeks, I've pushed it out to every six weeks. And it's definitely getting longer, that's for sure. So yeah. All right, well, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. So I'm probably gonna stop the video and I'm just gonna keep working on this today. Probably try to get a lot of this done. Maybe I can just get over to this section done, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so sorry for this video being like all over the place. Um, it's just, it's been a rough, a rough week. Um, but I am going to get through it and power, <clears throat> power on and life, life is going to be all good and, you know, yada, 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 yada all that stuff so but yeah I'm still planning to do my live Sunday night so you'll see me there um, if you want if you don't want that's cool too I, you know I just want people that you know want to come see me come see me if you don't totally get it I'm not offended so anyway I hope everybody has a lovely Thursday has a wonderful weekend um, yeah yeah. Next week will be better. Next week will be better, you guys. So remember, smile more than you cry, give more than you take, and love more than you hate.